I think that if we were more focused on uh, new tropics, you feel me? So new tropics are things that's supposed to enhance your cognitive functions, right? Focus, memory, mood, right? Um, IQ, things of that nature. Most things are not particularly new tropics, even though they named as new tropics. But what they really are is things that affect specific areas of the brain, right? Versus the whole brain, because you're not going to take one thing that just makes you smart. But there's plenty of, uh, whether there's fungi, otherwise known as shrooms or mushrooms, right? That have medicinal effects to them beyond just the psychoactive effects. Um, whether there's, you know, um, plants, herbs, herbal medicine and foods that you can intake or whether there's foods like different berries that you can use that have antioxidant properties. There's many different things that if you want to enhance your cognitive function, your brain function, right, that works. But there are also many things that will decrease your brain function at the same time. You feel me? So the reason that we start talking about the brain effects of weed and we start talking about the positive and negative is because I've seen it happen for people that have mental illnesses and it makes it worse. I've seen other people that smoke weed and it does nothing to them besides maybe a decrease in motivation, make them a little lazier, eat a little bit, right? And, you know, they get that sweaty palm syndrome where they start acting all soft and weird. You feel me? That's about it. When I went to South Africa, the Zulus, I went to Swaziland and visited the Zulus, you know, Shaka Zulu, you feel me? They had a thing where they said that you couldn't smoke weed unless you had been a warrior for like 30, 40 years, which made sense. If you develop in a warrior class, you don't want them to, you know, um, be taking things that's going to rob their development, right? And decrease testosterone. So understanding testosterone in the first place, for me, especially a lot of young men, are testosterone is down 50%. Testosterone is that thing that helps you think clear. That, that makes you feel motivated, that makes you feel willful, that want to get up and compete and go at your ambitions in life, right? It makes you stronger and things of that nature. So when that testosterone is low, especially after you start increasing in age, you stop feeling like a man because that testosterone had you feeling like that, right? So if you're not like an athlete, somebody that's active and things of that nature, you're going to have a natural decline and you have different levels that you can go get tested. So you can go get tested and like, let's say a good average level in you in your 20s and early 30s and things of that nature, you might be in the 700s to 800s, but it can peak all the way up to like uh, 1200. But the average man probably walking around with maybe 500, 400, you know what I'm saying? That's not good. So what we need to do is figure out ways to stimulate that. Why aren't we focused and why don't we have that same clear mindedness? And when you was younger, your brain felt like you can do anything. You can pick up subjects, habits, you can throw anything in your body and it felt like you were just knocking that out and you kept going. As you grow and you get older, those things become worse. Your cognitive functions become worse. So you got to learn how to operate with your new ages as you go in life. Because I always say we don't, we're not getting, we don't go to old ages, we go to new age. And in this new age, there's a new way to operate your mind and your body. There's a new way to operate your mind and your body. So let me tell you some of the other things that if you use weed for, let's say, anxiety. How many people use weed for anxiety? How many people use weed for anxiety? You get a little stressed out. You have anxiety. You need to relax, right? Um, anxiety is a very real thing. You know what I'm saying? All sort of different things. So some of the alternatives, things like magnesium, uh, most people are have a magnesium deficiency within the body. We need that. Ashwagandha, um, uh, rhenium, but also even breathing techniques. So there's very powerful breathing techniques that ones can do. Dragon breathing, one, two, three, four breathing techniques that you can use. And what it does is when you're going through that anxiety or you have been through trauma, your nervous system, right? That's the system that puts you in that fright or flight right? Or fun. It is always active. So let's imagine this scenario. Somebody walked up to you and they put a gun out on you on nowhere. You just walk into the store. Now your body is frozen. Like, yo, what the hell just happened to me? But what happens in trauma situations, your whole nervous system activates to make you alert, right? So now it got you like, yo, I don't know what we going to do. We go fight, flight or fright. Most people, of course, go freeze. 
So imagine that person walks, it tells you to close your eyes. And then that person walks away. But you don't know if they're still there. So your body is still in that state, right? Of fear. Your, your nervous system is still activated. So when you open your eyes, and even though that person may be gone, your nervous system will still be activated as if they're there. So this is what happens when people go through trauma. Their body is still activated and their nervous system is still activated as if they're not safe. So what we do is we try to smoke to decrease that to calm our nervous system, right? We try to drink. We try to social uh, or try to be in social settings. We try to do anything to make ourselves calm. So this is why breathing techniques works because even by doing something like a deep breath, Ah, it's been known that just by hearing that ah, right, calms your nervous system and lets you know that you're safe. When I used to have uh, anxiety sometimes, I used to always find myself in the middle of things to where I had to stop and just breathe. Ah. I would fill my lungs all the way up, then I'd do an extra breathe, and then I would release. And this will help me like reset. Even when I be in social settings to where I get a little anxiety because there's too many people doing too much. I got to always know when I need to take a step away. Right. And then I reset. But here's the thing, because most people don't have these techniques and don't know about these different techniques. Instead, what you going to say? I need to smoke a blunt. Right. Because this is your normal habit and function. So instead, you go smoke a blunt. But the thing about the weed is it doesn't decrease. It doesn't get rid of the problem and things of that nature. It just makes you feel like that's no longer the problem, but it's still there underlying. So it actually became could become getting worse and stacking up. So when you've done smoking weed, it's been shown to increase anxiety. So now you feel like I need to smoke again and again and again. And now this is how you get stuck and you get caught in a loop in a cycle because now you got to keep smoking, right? To try to keep it at bay because you're not dealing with the underlying issue. So this is why when we're talking about having proper cycles, right? And having to function, most people don't know how to breathe. I'm going to say this because bro said something. He said, man, niggas know how to breathe. No, they don't. Most human beings don't know how to walk or breathe. And when I say walk, I'm talking about walking properly, hip, hip fluctuators. There's a science to walking to where you can be putting too much pressure on one side than the other. Most people don't even know how to walk. And most people, 90 plus percent of people don't know how to breathe. You don't know how to breathe for speaking. Like you got to really learn how to breathe. And the body is it's like it needs to come with a training manual to teach you how to get the most out of it. Otherwise, you wouldn't need so many outside things if you understood the inside things, if you understood mental and breathing techniques. <sighs> if you understood how to calm the mind, if you understood having the ability when you speak, you inhale, then as you're speaking, you exhale so that your voice doesn't get hoarse. There there are so many functions of the body and the mind and the brain, the brain specifically, not just the mind, the brain that people don't understand and they take for granted. And that ignorance is what makes your situation worse. And you try to find a coping mechanism that you see somebody else do it to try to take a short path versus the organic. So when we start talking about, but this nature, bro, you are nature. And yeah, your nature provides tools and solutions that you can interface with the self. <laughs> like, let's, let's deal with reality. When a baby, think about this. Great example. When a baby is, um, when a baby is crying and they can't speak, they have the erratic breathing. They <laughs> so they get into this pace. All that, if, if, if you knew how, Right. If if you could breathe all the way to fill up your lungs and then take another breath so it fills up your complete lungs, then they can calm down and then it will reset their brain and relax them and then they can move forward. That happens to a lot of us. That's why when you're crying, you get into this erratic state. 
Because that's what spirituality is. That's what spirit is, is breathing. It's ka, it's chi, it's ki. You feel me? So when people say that they spiritual and then they don't know how to breathe, you're not spiritual. You don't know no breathing techniques, but you claim to be spiritual and not religious. Stop the cap. Y'all religion is Mary Jane. Because that becomes your God because the moment that you got a problem, you go to her. You don't go to self. You don't, you don't, you don't got a problem in, oh man, let me, let me go take this to Jesus. <laughs> no, you go to Mary Jane, not Jesus. Let's be honest. <laughs> you go to Mary Jane. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and forget about Jesus. Then they gonna thank Jesus for the Mary Jane. Boy, I tell you, boy, y'all be cracking me up, man. Y'all can't fool. See, I ain't a square. Like, I done did it all, done it all. You feel me? So... Every excuse that people be trying to have, did you ain't smoked though? You smoked? Nah, I done did that. <laughs> I done sold that. I done did all that. So I like it when people be always trying to come on with excuse. I mean, I was talking with some folks and they was like, they ain't know where I was from. We was on a clubhouse. And I'm breaking stuff down to them. You feel me? And they's like, well, that's that's easy, cause you know what I mean? They so he asked me, he like, so where you from though? You feel me? He thought I was going to say something square like Ohio or something. No disrespect to my Ohioans or my Iowans or something. But no, I'm like, shoot, Oakland and St. Louis. I'm like, I grew up in Oakland and St. Louis. It ain't nothing but the streets or the streets. You know what I mean? Both of them environments, these are the trenches when you talk about the trenches. So it ain't no excuses. Oh, you grew up with both parents. No, I didn't. Pops was a magician sometimes. He'd disappear and come back. You know what I mean? We grew up in, in adverse and poverty Stricken environments where I'd have been through almost every trauma you could think of. You feel me? So the excuses don't exist with me because unfortunately or fortunately now, God put me through all those circumstances so that I can actually be compassionate towards other people that's going through the same thing. So I don't speak from a place of lack of experience. I speak from a place of experience. Right? Same thing with people that do lean. And, and, and that'd be the terrible thing because... How many people that done died that we know of lean? Yet your favorite rapper still go push that Waikisha. Come on now. We just have a fast death culture that we consistently perpetuate and we don't know how to get off of it because we're not strong enough to. And we don't know how to clean our minds and our environments and our bodies. So I ain't perfect. The reason I speak on these is because I had the same challenges or have the same challenges. No, shout out to Ohio. I didn't mean to say it like that. <laughs> Maybe I should have used Arkansas. Let me use Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas. Cause I, my, no, I know Cleveland rough. I'm just saying, you know, we don't be hearing too much. I know Cameron said he used to get them packs off in Ohio. He said he found a small town tied down. My bad. Listen, Arkansas. Who's from Arkansas for real? Anybody from Arkansas? I don't even think Arkansas a real place. <laughs> or Or Iowa. Have you met anybody Iowa. from Iowa? Cause Cleveland, Cleveland, y'all probably it's probably it's probably bad in Cleveland and stuff. Yeah, don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? And that's not a good thing. Like it's bad. It's not a badge of honor. It's not good. But I'm just saying it's probably Arkansas anyway. <laughs> I ain't never met nobody from Arkansas. <laughs> Shout out to my, my Arkansas people. You know what I mean? Because Arkansas, first of all, side note, Arkansas don't make sense as a word because it's R Kansas. Where you get Arkansas from? It's the, it's the it don't make no sense. They just that's how you. That's not a real place. They just Little be making Rock. up stuff. Uh, you ain't got no folks from Little Rock. My grandma's from Arkansas. <laughs> 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 bro, she ain't really from there, bro. Chill. <laughs> they said Arkansas really like my bad all my Arkansas brothers <laughs> everybody thugging everywhere my bad man hey all the Arkansas thugs gonna be tripping <laughs> bro what you saying about Arkansas <laughs> relax I ain't mean I know it's a hood everywhere my bro he did hood to hood he showed me there's all kind of crazy hoods cats pulling up on horses and stuff with choppers I don't want no problems you know what I'm saying you feel me? Shout out to the gods out there, man. You feel me? Don't 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 get it mistaken. We got a we got an invisible army too. Uh man. So let's 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 get back. To, let's get back. Uh <laughs> they thugging everywhere. I know, I know. They thugging everywhere. I get it. Y'all y'all got some gangsters. I get it. 
But listen, so here's the, some of the things. Sugar, screen time, social isolation, headphones, artificial sweeteners, fumes of conventional cleaning products. All of these could be bad for your brain. And of course, alcohol, regardless of how much you drink, right, can have negative cognitive effects. And cognitive decline starts to happen earlier and earlier in our society. This is why you start to see Alzheimer's, right, and things of that nature happen. Where you start getting memory loss, you start losing things, and you can tell when a person is start having brain issues while they can do brain scans. Dr. Amen is somebody I suggest, and I can't wait. When I say headphones, I mean at full. So at full volume, right? You want to know whether I'm telling you the truth or not? Go put your headphones at full volume, and your phone will tell you that you've had your headphones too high for too long, and it has an effect on your brain. Right. Apple had to start giving this warning because of the effects that it has on the brain. We take so many things for granted and we don't realize start messing up your eardrums and things of that nature as well. Right. Even having the phones. You see, I got these. I sell these on my site. I don't even be pushing them that much like I should. These Z's right here. Right. It decreases um, the amount of radiation that you're going to be receiving from your phone. We started off all the way in 2017 before it became popular and everybody talking about it now. We was putting these and still do put them in the crown. So when you wear them, it's protecting your head, right? What happens is people start to get malignant tumors behind the ear, sometimes on the body, right? Wherever you got your phone and that radiation is constantly leaking. There was a study that was done in Chicago that shows that the admitted levels of radiation that comes from your phone is higher than the allotted levels legally from Apple iPhones, right? And so the public is just not studying these things. The public is not looking at a lot of these things. They don't care, right? But this is the reason that we want to give you the information. Because just because you use something every day and you don't realize how it's affecting you doesn't mean it doesn't have negative effects. So there are some people that do shrooms. Um, some of the most popular ones that's happening right now is like shrooms, ketamine, changa, um, uh, iboga, right? I think that I'm going to do a whole entire episode high level is just dedicated towards like herbs and like nootropics um, and different psychoactive drugs and stuff that you probably have never heard about, right? I just want to have that educational series that we do. Did you know that there's a drug called Iboga root, Iboga root that actually can get people off of heroin, right? They take it and they have like a three-day trip with like the most positive aspects of their brain and it decreases addiction. And there was a pharmaceutical company that patented this, right? They took certain variables within it and they patented that. And they did that, of course, so that they could, and they made it illegal in certain countries. It's not illegal everywhere, but of course, the U.S. is not going to make it legal because they don't want you healing yourself. They don't want you curing yourself. They will only allow things, right, that are band-aids. They won't allow no cures, Show me one product that they have that's a cure. They don't allow cures because it's not profitable. And America is one big company, right, for commerce and exchange of products and services and money and flow. That's why most of our laws are wrapped around commerce. So you have to understand that we are products in a business. And if they can extrapolate a value from you, then you're useless because you're a human capital for bigger machines to be fed into. So, of course, this is why people who sell weed not going to tell you about it, because why would you want to educate your consumer bases and make make a decision to not pr uh, indulge and consume your product? And why would you put a warning on your products that, hey, if you smoke my product and you got mental health issues in your family, it may make your condition worsen. Right. Or it may bring that out of you when normally if you don't smoke it at all, it won't happen. And of course. Weed is not the only thing, but we're just focused and talking about that one for now. So this is why I'm bringing it up to you because I know people don't care. And seeing it personal and firsthand experience, right, is the reason that I have heart for it. Because I know a lot of cats literally today are in jail. Not because they're just criminals and they don't know what to do. It's because they have mental issues, right? And there is no pipeline to a better, healthy you know what I mean? Black America. There are no brain health clinics in America to where we go scan and we see like where are the indentured areas of the brain. And then they start testing your mineral levels to see what's going on with the body to where they need to fix this chemical imbalance within the body or mineral imbalance within the body so that you can think clearly. They're not thinking of us like that. The, the prison system is basically a psych ward. 
So they're taking, they, we got these foods and these chemicals and all these different things that we intake after coming from trauma-induced environments. And it just becomes a pipeline for them to fill up the prison system so that they can make billions of dollars or the medical system. So they're not incentivized to cure or fix, right? And this is the problem with capitalism a lot of times is that it's so profit-centric. They don't care who they harm. And they try to make it seem like you as the consumer are supposed to know before you consume so that they don't have to take any uh, responsibility and they can just sell their product. And I understand that it's a free market. So therefore, you have to educate yourself whether you smoke weed or don't smoke weed, because even if you don't, you may need to educate a friend. You may have a child in your family that's going to smoke weed. Why? Because it's everywhere and it's going to become bigger and bigger and bigger, especially when it gets federal regulation and it becomes legal. You understand me? So I'm not going to stop talking about it. I'm not going to stop talking about it. Weed is legal and it ain't, it ain't, it ain't like we, we, let's deal with the facts of things. Alcohol companies. We know alcohol is bad for us. Like, there's not one benefit from alcohol. Not one. Not one benefit from drinking. Besides giving people, you know, uh, you know, putting them in a, in a in a state of mood. You feel me? Uh, making your inhibitions lower. You feel me? Giving people that, that, that courage. So, you know, I can teach you the game where you don't even need to drink. And you can still get women. You want me to teach you the game? Because a lot of y'all think y'all got to be on liquor to go talk to people. Or you got to be in liquor on social environments because you start to get anxiety because you don't really want to be there. So now you need that liquor courage to be able to get out your brain. And you don't know how to calm yourself down. So I get why we do it. Like, I, I get it. We used to go out and get in all kind of fights and do all kind of stupid stuff. We in environments that everybody high and everybody drinking and everybody strangers. You feel me? And I don't know what everybody coming for. We all at different levels of power and attraction. You feel me? So in those environments where alphas and betas and sigmas and thaws and all that other stuff, you feel me? It's all kind of issues that's go problem. And most of the problem is ninjas got to drink because they don't know how to communicate. You don't know how to, what the, what the youngsters say today, you don't know how to rears up. You don't know no gang. No, nah, man, we, we be losing, we, don't be, we be having so much lack of social skills that we take all of these other things to try to make up for my lack of social skills. Come on, man. Y'all act like I ain't been there, done that, and going to do it all. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so anyway, let's get to it. You know, you, there's a lot of people that's doing, um, I mean, I'm going to do some more study and research on this, but... Um, NAD. So do y'all know what NAD is? Now I got that super mind, that super mind. Let me take some of this right now. If you if if, if you talking about it, man, this super mind, it got the isolate C B D in there. So I ain't against the cabinoids. I understand we got the cabinoid system that connect in our body, right? And it can have that cognitive enhancement effect. I understand that in a lot of cases, it can have decreased that anxiety and increased focus. I understand that it can relax the body and the mind. Why you think I got that super mind? You feel me? You ain't got to smoke it. You can drink it. Not only that, I got some of that black seed oil like Prophet Muhammad said. It cured everything but death. <laughs> and this is also a new tropic as well. Then we got the uh, MCT oil and we got the lion's mane. Now that lion's mane right there. Is what's going to naturally help you with that myelination process, that sheathing around the axons and your neurons so that they can connect faster and your brain is operating with signals. You feel me? Past the speed of light, <laughs> operating at the speed of thought because the speed of thought is faster than the speed of light. So I'll take this, keep it there for about 30 seconds and let it absorb. Yeah, this, look, this, a. Hey, Right here, just that product. Y'all like the bottle? I designed the bottle. Let me feel me. People be thinking gold water is just about colloidal gold. The only reason gold water is called, the company is called that is because that was the first product. But we actually got all sort of in brain and body enhancing things that you can use. And this is basically like brain food. You know what I'm saying? You take this, this is it. 
That stuff good right there. Fuck that good stuff. Don't play with that right there. Uh-huh, my brother Abstract said he got it. So, NAD stands for Nicot... I don't even know how to enunciate this. Nicotinamide. Nicotinamide. Adenine dinucleotide. It's a vital coenzyme found in living cells, right? It plays a crucial role in cellular metabolism, particularly in a process that converts food into energy. It is essential for maintaining DNA integrity. From cognitive and medicinal standpoint, NAD is notable for potential to improve brain function and has mental clarity and increased overall energy levels. It is involved in numerous bio biochemical reactions, including those that affect the brain and the health. Um, it also is, is said to keep you younger, basically. Right. So sometimes I go get the IVs. I go get the vitamins. I go get uh, some NAD, things of that nature. Like I want to feel a thousand. I don't think there's no. This is something that right now we got like gym culture that becoming bigger. But like I want to see an obsession almost with cognitive enhancement right cognitive enhancement people use all sort of different things right they use modafinil they use different nootropics that they find there's so many different things that's out there but we focus on not enhancing our brain power not enhancing your memory your speed of thinking your clarity your iq your focus right and the better your brain work, the more successful you become, the more flow you're going to have in your, your life, the more your energy levels are higher, your energy levels are higher, right? You're more motivated to go do things. But we be focused on things like liquor and lean and drugs, right? And we use that and we promote that. You see, Ciroc was everywhere. Everybody was a Ciroc boy and a Ciroc girl. Everybody has their own liquor brand. You know what I'm saying? Even Nas with Hennessy. Everybody is on the liquor, but nothing is about... How about we enhance our cognitive functions, right? How about like are we focus in an age where they have artificial intelligence? By the way, you know you're going to have to get smarter. You're going to have to be able to think clearly. So artificial intelligence is built on a model of the brain function, our neocortex, our cognitive thinking skills, critical and executive thinking skills, how we process information. So in this day and age, the best thing that you can do is focus on your brain. Right. This is that hardware that you're going to need to operate at a high level during this time where the machine is speeding up. Then you as a human being need to speed up your functions as well. So we've never seen that happen. And even when we talk about health, we talk about it just from a standard level of health. I'm talking about becoming superhuman. Right. I'm talking about having a super brain. I'm talking about like, yo, let's become really obsessed with being God bodies. Because when we talk about our ancestors, they wasn't just trying to get high and just ignore the world, right? And then they wasn't even dealing with what we're dealing with today. The amount of things that we have to process, the amount of things that we have to deal with on a daily basis, our brain doesn't get a moment to itself almost. So this is why I believe all these things are necessary. This is why I believe your health is necessary, your, your brain health and your mental health. It's completely necessary because when we talk about entrepreneurship, we don't be connecting health and entrepreneurship success. But if you got low energy and you got bad health and you can't focus, that's going to affect your business. All of a sudden, you got financial problems. All of a sudden, you don't have high energy. All of a sudden, you decreasing your social interactions. All of a sudden, you're no longer finding yourself with that same level of growth that you had. And we don't focus enough about our mind and our bodies and our brains. And if we did, then we'd be better overall as a society in the ways that we function. So I'm only using we as a gateway to talk about these other different things and these issues and these problems that we have as a culture. Right. And we need to know all of the different beneficial effects. Like I led the way. It wasn't nobody out here with large companies talking about that was black that was pushing lion's mane and changa um, and cordyceps, right? And colloidal golds and colloidal silvers and monatomic golds and, right, things of that nature. I, I, when I first sold sea moss, I flew to Jamaica to, to grab the sea moss, right? Shipped it myself, right? And you, if you ever been to Jamaica, you know Jamaica has the worst 
goddamn mail service ever because everything was manual. So they had to write everything down. It literally took like six hours. We had to put everything in these boxes, right? And then we shipped it off. And then that was the first time I had ever sold CMOS back in those days. That was 2019. You feel me? So we never copy in anything. We always at the forefront of everything that we do. And now you see them everywhere. Now everybody is following the blueprints that we set because we thought leaders. That's the whole point. We lead the way of thinking. Right? And we teach others how to do the same thing. And we set these blueprints. We could go back years and years and years of what we've been doing. This ain't no, I just pop up and all of a sudden I'm talking about it. This is what we've been doing this for years. So let's really get into it. And I've been talking about new tropics and really pushing us in that. And now you see these industries growing and growing and growing. Because they following the lead. Same thing, we laid the blueprint for content. You know what I'm saying? Now people following the lead. But I really want y'all to tap in. I want y'all to get y'all super mind. I want y'all to think about some of the things we talked about. Um, and I'll go over this list before I get out of here. So you got um, Ginkgo, Belibo, right? Um, it has enhanced um, cognitive function, particularly in memory enhancement and dementia improvement or prevention, sorry. Um, it increases blood flow to the brain. It has antioxidant properties. I'm not even going to go through all of that. If you guys want to study it, you can. But you have Penex ginseng. Um, ever since I was younger, we used to always had them ginsengs. Before people was doing what they call them packs now that they be having out. Um, what's them packs that people be selling the little stuff that people be trying to do? Uh, it's like, um, huh? No, nah, the stuff that people be doing for um, sexual enhancement. I forgot what they, honey packs. <laughs> Before there was honey packs, we had them ginsengs, natural ginsengs. But we used to drink the ginsengs because they had the little small ones at the stores that we just drink for the energy. You know what I'm saying? All y'all, y'all be 20 some years old talking about you need a honey pack. There's something wrong with you. That just mean that you clogged up with too much junk and you're not getting proper blood flow. You know what I'm saying? There's something wrong with your body. You too young to be having problems. You're way too young to be having problems. So anyway, man, we're going to get back into it, man. Yeah. Get you some of that um, Rhodiola, Rhodolia, Rhodola, um, Rosia, enhances memory, stamina, uh, Bacopa, Mono, listen, I might not enunciate some of these right, so don't judge me based on that. Bacopa, Mononiri, um, that's used in traditional Ayurvedic medicine, used to improve memory, cognitive enhancements, um, curcumin or turmeric. I like that for its anti-inflammatory properties, but you got to get the right turmeric, not just any turmeric, right? Um, lion's mane mushroom, which we got in here. And my stuff right there. I love my lion's mane. You can even eat lion's mane. It looks like this white spongy substance when you get it pure. Some people grow it um, and they eat it as burgers and things of that nature because of its texture. But lion's mane is really good. It's literally, it's literally brain food. Like literally. Um, but it enhances, um, stimulates nerve growth factors and enhances brain function. Right? So... Listen, do not play with that super mind. Get you some of that. Or that oil of oregano. Come on, we got some of that oil of uh, oregano here. Um, or you guys, you see some over there? My brother Styles P sent me some, actually. He sent me a pack. That goji berry is good. Blueberries is good for its antioxidant properties. You know what I'm talking about? Um, sage is actually good as well. I know people be smoking sage, but you know sage is good. That St. John Wart. Yeah. Look, we got something that we got a little bit of everything over here. We got pharma. We got a whole little pharmacia pharmacy at the house. We got that go to cola or aka that Goku. We got some of that rosemary, them elderberries, that maca root, that peppermint, that yerba mate, that green tea extract, which is also that green tea extract is in that um sports moss. And that sports moss has cordyceps in it. Cordycepsis. Oh, that's my favorite. That's my favorite right there. 
Cordyceps, I'm going to do a video working out with the cordyceps. Y'all going to see how much stronger I done got too. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm preparing for uh, Creed 4. It's 4, right? It's 4, right? Creed 4. Because Jonathan Majors, he can't do it now. So, you know what I'm saying? They call Big Keys. They call Big Keys up. Call Big Keys up for the uh, for the road. Because Jonathan Majors, he... Ever since he ran from that white girl, he threw himself out the race. <laughs> that boy ran from that girl. He was running slow. That girl was catching up to him. Mm -mm. So yeah, I don't think I don't think they gonna recast him. So I'm putting my bid in right now. You feel me? I got you. You ain't gotta worry about me. Uh, so cordyceps is a fungi. Um, it grows on the larva of insects. It, nature is so powerful. When you study the mycelium networks of the world you really see some very almost magical like things when you start studying mycelium. And it's interesting that God has all of these things that he's created that has these particular effects on the brain. And, you know, as human beings, we focus on like psychoactive effects, like people take shrooms and you want to go to different universes and stuff. But I like to think about practical effects, you know what I'm saying? Because the practical effects of cognitive enhancement to think outside the box, to stimulate different areas within the brain. I think, you know, it's all about increasing that quality of living and that quality of thinking. So cordyceps is so powerful um, because it helps boost energy levels, right? It supports physical performance um, used by athletes. Um, it was famously used, you know, when... Um, and promoted, you know, when breaking, uh, I believe it was the world record with the marathon. It was the Japanese people was saying that they was using that. Um, it has been shown, right, in limited and scientific studies, right, all of its cognitive effects and properties when it comes to enhancing the brain and mental, I mean, and physical performance specifically. Um, so when you're talking about you know, working out and things of that nature. Most people, they get tired fast and you get tired because of your breathing, right? Um, so what it does is it's going to be delivering oxygen to your muscles while you're breathing so that you can actually continue to perform harder while you're working out and it decreases recovery time as well. So there's a lot of different things. And then of course, uh, immune function, um, regulating blood sugar levels, anti-aging properties, you know, and we can go into all of those different things as well. I love mushrooms myself. Um, I didn't know much about them at first, and then I had to start studying them to figure out these things. I just, I'm saying all of this, that's, that's, um, so if you go type in Supermind, we also have a product with that cordyceps is the main ingredient. So it's cordyceps and it's vitamin D, and it is, um, if you get the one with the gold, we have the gold, but, and it's, um, sea moss. So that product is called sports moss. So if you get the sports moss, then on that same site that we have super mine, you can find that there as well. So I would get both of those and I will work out on it, but I would only take one pill, right? Um, at, because if you take two, you may increase your heart rate. And if your heart rate increases, you're going to actually have to then go to the gym a little extra hard because you're going to have too much energy. So I always say take one because they actually work and they're very powerful. So don't play with the potency of them. So sports moss, just take one. You feel me? If you, as you go over in time and time, maybe a month of using it, you may be able to increase your intake over time. So do not play with these. But yeah, there's there's so many different ones that you can take. Um, and I just want us to focus on like, let's do more than just smoke. That's all I'm saying. And also understand how things affect you. And it doesn't affect everybody else the same. And even if you're a smoker, you should be invested in, if your homie got mental illnesses and you see when he smoke, he gave you a little bipolarism increases. And if he smokes, he start to change or he start to become paranoid or things of that nature. Or he get decrease in motivation levels and energy and he just want to wait around and all that ambition goes away. Like if you see somebody that you know that's smoking, even if that's your partner, right? And that's the person you smoke with. If you see negative effects in them, then come on, man. You got to say something. Otherwise, that ain't cool. 
You feel me? It's one thing to get high with people. But don't sit there and smoking with people and you part of their problem. And because y'all are smoking, you won't say nothing. You won't even tell them the negative effects it has on you because you don't want to blow the high. You don't want to talk about it because the culture of weed is to not speak anything negative over it and to just worship the plant and utilize it. So that to me is the most essential thing. Like if I see somebody that's my partner, he smoke. I ain't trying to regulate nobody's life. But if I see it have a negative effect on you, I got to say something, bro. Like, bro, you know this shit making you lazy, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know when you smoke weed, you become a different person. You become a bipolar shifty in your personality. I don't know if your father had it or your mother had it or your grandpa or something, but that might be in the family. You might want to take a look at that. You feel me? You see how it's affecting you. And that goes with anything that we do. And most people ain't going to be that type of person that's going to pull each other coattail. And, like, that's real love. You feel me? So I think that that, to me, is the most um, important thing when it comes to these things. You feel me? Is 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 the accountability that we have with everything, and that level of research that we have, and understanding that it affects everybody differently, um, and also understanding that the devil did not stop planning his agenda when it came to weed. If you believe that he has an agenda for pharmaceuticals, if he has an agenda in the media, if he has an agenda politically, if he has an agenda with the food that we eat, he has an agenda with the air that we breathe from the education systems. Right, um, from all these sort of different things. Why do you think it stopped that weed? Oh, I'm just not gonna mess with that. I'm not gonna tamper that. The man, the devil, Satan. That's what you're dealing with. So I want us to be cognitive of that because we be proclaiming that there's goddamn chemtrails in the sky, and then we be smoking a blunt. Okay, who made this? Where it come from? Where's the soil? Where the seeds? Just like let's just think about these things a little bit. You can't, you can't be goddamn um, a conspiracy theorist on everything in the world. But because you want to keep getting high, you just want to ignore it. Man, if I was them, I'd put it in the weed. Shit, that's the best place to put it. Because obviously those are where the people that's going to smoke think about things and never do anything. Because it's a decrease in motivation factor. I don't know, you know. I just like to think. Look, somebody said they, they smoked for 10 years. It gave them anxiety. Yeah. Ain't nobody. Most people ain't growing their own nothing. And the few people who do, okay, that's you personally. But where you get your seeds from? Because you can't even get our exotic seeds need, uh, uh, anymore. Come on, man. Like let's, let's just deal with reality. I'm not telling you to shut down your business. I ain't telling you what to do. I'm just saying let's think. And let's think about the people who... Would, it affects the worst ways. That, I can appreciate you. That, I can appreciate you. You feel me? That, I love. That, I'm like, that's what's up, bro. Solid. You know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't be a good brother if I didn't speak the truth, regardless of who it offends. I meet people all the time. I mean, I meet so many cannabis entrepreneurs. People that just got out of jail, and maybe that's their only opportunity. I get it, but let's never get into any industry where we ignore the facts. Let's never be a part of the same cycle that we're trying to get out of. That's the message. Hope I didn't blow you high. <laughs> Man, get y'all some nature. Go outside. If you like plants and nature that much, be around them. You feel me? If you like nature that much, understand that nature has also created thousands, tens of thousands, millions of other plants as well that also have benefits that are medicinal and some are psychoactive. They have a lot of benefits. There's a lot of them. I mean, a lot. Don't stop at one. That's sheeple talk. There's a lot. I mean, a whole lot. You really want to study our ancestors and you study some of the indigenous tribes and look at the ways uh, of their understanding of plant intelligence and nature intelligence. They can identify different plants and what they use for. Don't act like God made one and that was it because then it destroys your entire argument and it lays flat upon you just regurgitating what somebody else said and that's artificial intelligence because you're not thinking of your own. 
Speaking of artificial intelligence, before I get out of here, we have a free webinar on the 25th. That's in two days. Make sure y'all DM me to wear AI so that you can register. This one is going to be the last free one that we do. It's going to be really good. If you have a podcast, if you are a marketer, if you do, if you have a business or a product, this is going to be the one for you. You really want to learn this. Um, I have been an expert at building personal brand, right? And a master at producing content for a very long time now. And we're really going to be helping people build out their personal brands in their podcasts, right? So you really want to be a part of these. We will have open opportunities. A lot of you all have sent in applications to be a part of the podcast. We haven't sent in the applications yet for the personal branding, but we'll get back to you all. Um, it's very important in this day and time that you are focused because when you're not focused, you're distracted and you can't attract and be distracted at the same time. Distractions and attractions create subtractions. They cancel each other out and you ain't gaining no traction behind your actions. You know what I'm talking about? So anyway, um, make sure y'all show up. I will see y'all. You can go to 19keysai.com if you don't get the link again. That's 19keysai.com if you don't get the link. So I'll see y'all that day. We can discuss ayahuasca and peyote another time. Y'all have a blessed one. Peace to the gods.